Hello. Welcome back to Awakening to Your Story TV, the place to learn, get inspired, and be supported with heart-centered solutions for your everyday life. I'm Alicia Hartzell, and today we are going to be talking about what to do when you feel like your life doesn't matter. Now, this is a big topic, <laughs> a a topic that I could talk to from many different angles, but I really wanted to simplify it today and um, really focus on a couple of the things that I told the person who commented to me this week that kind of started this whole thing. Um, the person who wrote in was feeling and and focused on this place of feeling left out from their friends and feeling like they were the black sheep of their family and that their family didn't really care and that ending their life would not have an impact on anyone else. And it really struck me because I've been there myself. I've been in a place where, you know, my heart felt so heavy and I stayed on the couch, curled up underneath the weight of my life and wished and willed myself not to wake up so that I would not have to keep going, feeling the way that I did about my life. And so I know that there are a lot of people out here, out there in the world who go through these phases where life feels harder to live than it should, where everything gets so heavy that it would be easier just not to be. And before we go any further, I want to give you two numbers. Um, first, the National Suicide Hotline. It's 1-800-273-8255. And also for the LGBTQ plus community, the Trevor Project number is 1-866-488-7386. And I'll have, excuse me, have those numbers down in the description below as well. I, I want to share with you two things that really helped me when I was at that place and that point in my life um, and kind of go from that place. But before we get into that, I want to tell you some of the things that I I really, really wish that I could, if you're in this place, wrap my arms around you and tell you in person. I want you to know that the one person's life that I know for sure you not being here would impact is your own. And I know that sounds silly, but your story is super valuable. Your life is super valuable. And if you're not here, you cannot live and write that story. And maybe nobody's told you that your story is valuable. Maybe nobody's told you that you matter. Maybe nobody has shown you the love that makes life make sense. Maybe nobody's applauded you and said, I see you and I think that you are amazing. Maybe nobody's taught you that there is value in your story, that you are the main character of the story and you are the only person who can write it into existence. And so I want to help you get there today. I want to help you understand that your life is important, that you, the completely unique expression of life that you bring into the world, you, you matter, right? So we're going to talk about two places that will help you get to this place where you start to believe that you matter, right? The first place is I want you to really 
focus on understanding where your point of reference is, right? So check your point of reference. Often when you feel the weight of life's experiences in the way that you do when you come to this place, it's because your point of reference has been shifted to an external force, an external thing, whether that's your friends, whether that's your family, whether that's what's going on at school or at work. That was one of the things for me that really weighed me down was work and feeling like I had purpose and and all of that. When your point of reference is out there on those things and you compare yourself or you judge yourself or you try to be different somehow, you carry the weight of trying to be different because what you're seeing out there or what you picture your life should be out there isn't what it is. You end up setting yourself for disappointment because those jobs, those that school experience, those friends, that family member, they are never going to be able to fill up the space within your being that is designed for you to create ownership there, that, that space of worth and significance and value, that place of wholeness that's designed for you, your own being, to fill up. And when your point of reference is set externally rather than internally, it can be really, really, really disappointing and really, really, really hard. Now, when you shift that perspective inward and you start to see the truth with a capital T, that you are the author of your story, that you are the main character living in into existence, that you have power within your story to shift your point of reference back and to figure out how you want to feel and who you want to be. And even if those external circumstances are not working in the way that you want them to, that you can shift what's happening in here so that the outer world shifts to meet you, right? I know it sounds super abstract. I know it does. It's it almost feels impossible, but it is possible for you to fall in love with your life. And you do that one thought and one feeling at a time. And I want you to really understand that your value does not come from an external source. Your value does not come from what you do at school or what your family says about you or what is happening at work or, or any external circumstance or situation, your value, your worthiness, your significance, none of that comes from an external source. Your divinity wove that right into your humanity. It is a part of you that you can't get away from right? It's like breath, right? We don't often focus on our breathing, but it it is there always working with us to keep us alive and upright. When you focus on it, your breath can be energizing. It can be broadening and life-giving. It can really fortify you in a way that you weren't being fortified before. So when you focus on your worthiness and your significance and your value and you figure out a way to broaden that, to focus there, to create ownership, true ownership for what that is within you, then it's a lot harder for those external circumstances to come in and knock you off course, right? Now, the second thing that I want you to really focus on and think about after shifting your perspective, making your point of reference, your own being, is to work on your heart and story, to realize that you have power there, that the relationship you have within your own being, with your thoughts, with your body, with your your mind, heart, and soul, 
that inner dialogue, that relationship is powerful. One thought and one feeling at a time, your entire life can change directions. Your emotions can shift. Your your entire experience shifts. One thought and one feeling at a time. And when you focus on your own heart and story and you build up in that place, then you have the power to start to feel less weight from what's out there, right? Make your heart your own point of reference. And then you'll come to understand that the twists and the turns of life, that the places that feel weighted, that abyss of a challenge will also be met with a moment of pure light, right? Your life is going to ebb and flow. There is going to be a lot of different things that happen within your story. It's part of the hero's journey, right? You you go through these hard moments and you come out with a newfound expression of life. But if you're not here, you don't get to do that. You don't get to find out what's next. So when you focus on building up your heart and story and you come to that inner place of understanding within yourself and you fall in love with what is there and you fall in love with writing your story and meeting a challenge and using that challenge to help serve your higher good, then you take back the power from all those external sources that have been weighing you down, right? Now, I am going to link some videos for you that will help you focus there, that will help you focus on your heart and will help you create ownership for your value, for your worth, for your significance, for the worthiness that is intrinsic to who you are. And I want to tell you, you matter. Your life matters. Your story matters. And I will say it until I'm blue in the face. And as many times as you need to hear it, I will say it. You comment on this video and I will meet you there. There are no comments on any of my videos that I have not, I have not commented back to. I am here to help you. And I want you to know that until next week, um, I'm going to be holding a place of love for you where you know that you matter. So check your point of reference and dig in to that space within your being. All right. Until next week, remember, you matter.